any day now. We've got a new story coming in, a big story coming in. Brood X cicadas going to be uh, emerging from the ground anytime. The bugs are going to be taking over the trees all across central Ohio. They'll make their calls heard for nearly a month, maybe even longer than that. NBC4's Alan Henry live at Whetstone Park. Alan, is there any reason, I guess, we ask to be concerned about this other than the loud noise? Well, Brad, the idea of billions of bugs coming out of the ground doesn't really sound great, but experts tell me these bugs are totally harmless. They can just be kind of annoying. That might not sound pleasant to you, but to a female cicada, that's the language of love. The uh, male cicadas gather in trees we call chorusing centers where they sing in mass, if you will, to lure females into the trees for the process of going through a, a series of mating calls and mating. It's part of the 17 year cycle. The brood X cicadas will soon begin in 15 states, including Ohio. The last time we saw this brood was 2004, where they made a memorable impression at the Memorial Tournament. I feel like I have a 17 year cicada in my ears all the time. I, you know, I've got tinnitus, which a lot of, guys, a lot of people, I guess there's 50 million people in America have tinnitus. And it sounds like I get like it all the time. So all it does just enhances it a little bit. Any day now, the brood will emerge again. Once the soil reaches 64 degrees, something our recent weather may have complicated. In 2004, they, these uh, brood tensicators came out around May the 16th. It's been an unusual uh, year so far. We had two inches of snow this past week and we're in the 80s this week. <laughs> so uh, it's, uh, it, it's been topsy-turvy. Uh, but we're still expecting them to emerge uh, in the first half of May. But once they are out, they just want to go to the nearest vertical structure. So if that's a tree or if that's you, they're going to crawl up you. But experts say there's no reason to fear the cicadas. They don't bite and aren't poisonous. They are packed with protein, though. Good news for your pets who might eat a few. In the event that your animals do snack on a couple, that's completely fine. What happens or what might happen is they might gorge themselves and eat too many. And in that event, they might get sick. But that's just from eating too many. It's not from the insect being harmful. Well, experts tell me the only danger that the cicadas pose are to young trees. You want to go ahead and cover those up now before the cicadas emerge and latch on to them. And I'm told the cicadas should be done singing that song at the end of June. Local for you, Alan Henry, NBC4. Okay, that is gross. Thank you so much, Alan. And they're not cute. <laughs>